Hello and welcome back to Pexels. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a super simple 10 lever redstone combination lock on Minecraft. So let's get right into it. This is the actual build that you're going to be making. It's, if you think about it really, it's quite simple redstone mechanics. Not much resources if you want to do it in survival. Of course you won't be using iron blocks if you're doing it in survival. You'll be using like stone or something. Um, obviously I'm not the best decorator and this won't look too good in um, building wise but you guys of course you can decorate it as much as you like. The combination um, for this build will be 3, 6, 10. So there are two main circuits that we're going to be using for this video. Um, this first one we want it's for the levers that you want to be powered. Now what happens is because there is a redstone torch at the end of this block, if you power this lever, it sends a redstone output to this lever which turns it off. And of course this um, repeater is attached to this redstone torch. Um, so when the redstone torch goes off, it goes off. And then this next one is for the ones you want to be, of course, powered the powered off. Redstone circuit B. And then this one, we literally have a com redstone comparator coming out from the block with a lever on the end. When you power that, it just goes through the block, sends the redstone output into this reparator, and it's powered. Alright, so let's start building, shall we? For this first one, you want to build a 4x5 wall, and then on the penultimate row, you want to place levers, and on the top row, you want to place levers, like this. And then on the other rows, you want to place any type of signs and label each lever 1, right down here, to. 10. All right, once you've done that, you want to build um, a 3 by 5 floor just here coming out of the wall on the bottom layer. Now, make sure you remember to do this because if you do the redstone circ circuitry straight onto the floor, it won't work because signs don't give out redstone outputs. Right, next, on every lever you want to, pa pa you want to be powered, which in our case is this one and this one on the bottom row, you put a redstone torch and as you see they turn off instantly when they're powered. Next you want to put repeaters on the as close to the wall as you can facing away from it. Then you want to link everything up with a redstone line and that is the bottom row believe it or not done. Then you want to do a 3 by 5 um, ceiling, basically, that you can't fit into because, yeah. And then when you've done that, you want to place again a um, redstone torch on every lever that you want to be powered, which in this case is just that one. Then you again put redstone repeaters as close to the wall you can facing away from it. And yes, again, link up all of the comparators. I mean, repeaters. All right, then once you've done that, you want to make a lovely um, stock staircase and then link the two up with a single redstone line and we are nearly finished actually. 
all right and then what you want to do is take a redstone the redstone line out like this dodging this block because if you place that there then this redstone dust will connect up with everything and that could cause problems then what you want so that shouldn't be that shouldn't be there what you want is to place a block of any sort you want there then two sticky pistons important that they're sticky um just there like that and this will power both the sticky pistons because it runs a signal into that piston directly and then it runs a signal into this block which runs a signal into this piston then you place any movable blocks um that you want onto there and you are done with all the redstone circuitry now what you want to do is place a wall around here and i'd suggest like a wall around all your redstone otherwise people will just come along and break everything and enter your base um and then a wall around your house all the way around and we're done now you can test this out anything you do will break it and then if you power this one that goes if you power this one it doesn't work and even if you get it right but then you place this here it breaks well it doesn't break it just turns off the system so yes of course you can make um the code anything you like but um as i said anything that any levers that you want down has to be this redstone circuit behind and any that you want up it has to be this redstone circuit behind all right thank you guys for watching i hope you have really enjoyed this redstone tutorial and i'll see you all in the next one remember to like subscribe and maybe even leave a comment bye